Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about solar charge controllers. Basically what they are and why you need them. Okay, here we have a full table of solar charge controllers. As you can see, they all come in different sizes from fairly large to pretty small. And they're all different sizes. They all cost uh, vast differences. Uh, this one I think you can get for like 25. This one is well over 100, if not 200. But they all do the same thing. What they do is they take the voltage and the amperage from your solar panel and they convert it to a voltage and amperage that your battery can use. That is the high overview of what a solar charge controller does. You know, you, see, you look at all these solar charge controllers and you see a bunch of numbers like 40 amps, 10-30, uh, 30 amp. I think this one's a 30 amp, but it's like a, a 30, it's a, it's a 50 dash 30. I mean, what does that even mean? Well, basically what that means is that you can put for this, uh, this Victron right here, you can put 100 volts of solar panels. So the voltage of your solar panels can go over 100 volts total. This can convert up to 100 volts down to what your battery can use, but the 30 stands for the max amount of amperage that it can be converted into. So if you have, uh, you know, let's just say if you have 90 volts at four amps, you know, that'll, con that'll convert it to uh, what your battery can use, which is like, let's just say 14 volts, and it will go up to a maximum of 30 amps. I hope that makes sense. So, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just pick one of these, and we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick uh, visual on exactly how it works. Okay, I cleared off my desk and the solar charge controller that I'm going to use for this demonstration is the Renogy Rover 30 amp. Now this is a 12 volt and 24 volt uh, solar charge controller. That means that I can connect it to a 12 volt battery source, which is going to be this time USB. And it will also connect to a 24 volt battery source, which could be two of these batteries or a dedicated 24 volt battery. We're, for this demonstration, I'm just gonna be using this 12 volt battery. And also my demonstration is going to be showing you how to uh, how to connect it up and what it means to connect it to solar and to battery and the numbers in between. For my solar, I'm going to be using uh, a variable charge controller because I want to mimic a 100 watt solar panel. And what I figured that at is 18 volts at 5.5 amps. So if you multiply 18 volts by 5.5 amps, that will get you right around 100 watts. So that's why we're saying that's going to be my 100 watt solar panel. So let's go ahead and get it wired up. Okay, so the first thing you wanna to do to connect your solar charge controller is connect it to your power source. This is going to be my power source. It's a 100 amp hour, 12 volt battery. And what you wanna do is connect the negative and positive of your wire to your solar charge controller. And your solar charge controller will have labels on where you connect everything. Uh, right here is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for battery plus, which is the battery positive, and the battery negative. And if you have your wiring correct, the red should be positive and the black should be negative. So we're gonna go ahead and connect those up now. Okay, so that's connected. And now the other side needs to be connected to your battery source. And again, black is negative and red is positive. So let's go ahead and connect up the positive first and then the negative. And as soon as you connect this up, the solar charge controller will turn on. And you always wanna connect up your solar charge controller first to a battery because you need to turn it on and just to make sure it knows what voltage uh, it should be trying to charge at. See right here, it does show that it's a 12 volt charge. Right there, hopefully you can see that. And on the display, it shows that our battery voltage is 13.2 volts. It also shows that there is a solar panel, but there's a moon next to it, so that means it's nighttime and we're not getting any charge to our battery. So it shows solar panel to battery and then to load. The load would be right here, uh, but that's really only for very small loads, uh, maybe like a light or something like that. Okay, 
And on my cable, I actually have this meter right here. And this meter is going to show us the, the conversion of amps and volts after the solar charge controller. So what the solar charge controller converts the volts and amps to to feed your battery. There is also programming in these solar charge controllers to, uh, so you, you program it to the right uh, settings for what type of battery you have, but that's a different video. This is just all about what these charge controllers actually do. Okay, now that we have the battery connected to the solar charge controller, we can go ahead and connect our solar charge controller to our solar panel, which is actually going to be this power supply over here. And again, this variable charger over here is set to 18 volts at 5.5 amps. That will mimic a typical 100 watt solar panel on a nice sunny day. And again, we'll go ahead and do the negative on the, on the PV, PV minus and the positive on the PV plus. Because uh, PV stands for photovoltaic. So that means your solar panels right there. Our mimicked 100 watt solar panel is all wired up and it's going to this, uh, this meter right here. Uh, so that way you can see the voltage coming in and then it's going into the solar charge controller and then it will be coming out and you'll be seeing the difference right here. So let's go ahead and put on some sunshine. You can see now that the solar charge controller is starting to kind of do its job. And right now, what this solar charge controller does is it takes the voltage from the solar panel, which is right at 16.9. Uh, it's, and it's kind of working its way up at 5.5 amps. So that's giving us right around you know, 90, 95 to 100 watts. But if you actually plug the solar panel directly into the battery, this voltage would, would cook your battery because it's way too high. Uh, if you have a good battery, the BMS inside the lithium iron phosphate battery should shut off so it wouldn't hurt it. But this voltage would actually do a lot of damage. So that's what this thing does is it converts it to this, which is a nice stable voltage. You can see it's 13.54 and then, and then the amperage is what really shifts around. But the voltage you can see stays the same. When on this one over here, the voltage will always be, swat, will always be switching around because you know, it's because it's sunlight and it's always a variable between if you get clouds or if you just get a bird or if you get any kind of shading, everything's going to shift around. And this controls that and gives you a nice, even flow of electricity. But now let's see what happens if we actually adjust the voltage coming into your solar panels. Um, generally, this won't really happen, but let's just say that the voltage spiked up for some reason. And now we're getting, you know, over 18 volts and the solar charge controller is trying to control that. But you see over here that the voltage, the voltage on this side doesn't really shift. It always stays in the range of what your battery can accept. It's always going to be uh, around 13, you know, 13.6 right now because that's what it's charging at is 13.6. And then you can also see that if for some reason the voltage of your solar panel goes below the minimum voltage of your solar charge controller, like let's just say we drop it down to 12. The voltage is now 12 volts and the solar charge controller cannot do that because it can only convert if the, if the voltage of the, of the solar is higher than what it needs to charge at, which is 13.46. So now if the voltage goes too low, the solar charge controller just shuts off and nothing happens. So let's go ahead and crank it back up. Crank it back up to 20 volts. And what's going to happen is the solar charge controller is going to see that we have voltage again and it's going to start adjusting the voltage and the amperage of what it can accept and then it will convert it to what the battery can use. See, just like that, it went down from 20 to 17 and your amperage is right around five amps and it converts it on this side to what the battery is charging at, which is 13.6 and it increases the amperage to around seven or eight. All right, well, that was a very high overview of what a solar charge controller does. It is a very important component to your off-grid system because it regulates 
the voltage and the amperage coming from the solar panels to something that your battery bank can use. And your battery bank, depending on whether it's a 12 volt or 24 volt, depending on you know, what kind of solar charge control you get, uh, it needs to keep that voltage constant. Uh, it always needs to be charged at a certain rate when the voltage of the solar panels can fluctuate a lot. And you can get solar panels or solar panel arrays, you know, you can get the voltages into the hundreds. So I hope this clears up uh, some questions that people might have that are just starting to get into solar and are trying to understand what the components actually do. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thank you so much again and have a great day. Bye-bye.